a true story one of these times I, I can't remember which which of the years now i was trying to process a visa for one of the nations and then when i was doing my biometrics and i just sat in front and a gentleman saw me and was happy he was rejoicing and he said apostle i can't believe it i said what can't you believe i came to get a visa what kind of embarrassment is this do the needful and let me leave this place and he said no let me tell you a story you had come to preach on our campus so 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 years ago and this and that and that and i'm walking in this place right now and he was laughing he got up and went and spoke something to a woman i don't know what they discussed but he returned back and i laughed i said lord you see how easy some things can be i've shared with you an old story here when we're in zaria we're told that story that some people were a gentleman was going to nda and then because of the height requirement he didn't match the height requirement so they disqualified him and being saddened he went and because his father knew the then late emir he went to him and said sir they disqualified my son and then he did not even write the then emir we were told said he should go back and tell the commandant that the emir has added his height that's right who can add your height in this wicked world that we live in please i hope as you are laughing you are taking seriously what i'm saying yes some of you as soon as you finish service even if someone is stretching his hands you can look at him from head to toe no you are not my class be careful be careful don't forget that as tattered as they are looking something came on them in that service treat people with honor treat people with dignity don't treat only wealthy and blessed people with dignity you are a hypocrite treat everybody with honor and dignity the apostle he cannot speak english no problem still treats them with honor relationships relationships